Hi, it's Caitlin, and I am very excited to be showing the Bluebird Lacquer Boo Bird 2023 Halloween Advent Box. So the Advent Box will be available for sale on September 15th. It will be available for one week as a pre-order, and there will be 12 items in the box. But if you don't want the Bath & Beauty products, then you can opt for the Polish Only Advent. That will be a little bit cheaper. I will include all of the specifics down in the description below. I will swatch all the polishes and give a review of everything that was included in the box. And I will also do a little unboxing because it was very fun to open the advent box. Everything is packaged so beautifully, so fun. If you're a fan of Halloween, then treat yourself to this because it is just so much fun. So let's get into the unboxing and then we will get into the polish swatches and product reviews. Okay, let's start opening these. I guess we should go in order. That's nine, 11, six, eight, three, seven, 10, there's one. Oh, here's one, okay. Okay, let's start with one. This is like absolutely adorable. boxes are so cute look at that it's like a little graveyard this is so pretty obviously the lighting is not the most accurate here so i will show these off when i swatch them and this is day two this is really cute What is this one? This is a slug slurpy no more uglicles cuti cuticle balm. These are really good. They're not greasy at all, so I do really like them for moisturizing my cuticles. And it smells so good. I can already smell it. There's also like adorable little things in here. These are little water transferable tattoos and rings. We're on three. I love these little bags. They're so cute. I'll probably reuse them to give out treats to kids on Halloween. That is so pretty. What day are we on? Four. Now this is adorable. I'm trying not to ruin these bags so I can reuse them. God, cinnamon broomstick. I'm so excited. This is a zero thirst sugar scrub. I have to smell this. Oh my God. It smells so good. Wow. Four. Okay. Now we're at five. Another nail polish. I'm liking the ratio of nail polish to non nail polish items. Oh my god, these papers are so cute. Look at this. Oh, very pretty. Big chunky flakes. 
Now we are on six. I hope this is some sort of lip balm. Ooh. This is a cuticle oil in crab apples. Ooh, this one has jojoba oil in it, which I love. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. It's like apples, but also cinnamon and spices. Okay. Where's seven? pretty polish. Here we have eight. Ooh. Here is a lip balm, aka beep beak balm. Smells really good. Nine. Ooh, this is so pretty. Here we have ten. Two polishes in a row. Ooh, very pretty. Eleven. I'm excited to see what's in here. Oof, this is a body butter. I love body butter. Red licorice ropes. And last but not least, we have 12. Ooh, that is so vampy. I cannot wait to try it. And that's it. Let's get into the swatches. I'm going to go in order of the advent calendar, and this is day one. We're starting off with a beautiful nail polish. This one's called Once in a Boo Moon, and it is described as a purple-leaning gray shattered hollow, which is a finish that Bluebird Lacquer does very well. So this applies beautifully. It has a really good coverage in the first coat and I would say it builds up very nicely in two coats. You might need three, but there's actually a ton of that hollow in there, which makes it build up to opacity very quickly. And this does dry down a tiny bit dull, so definitely use a good glossy top coat. I'm using Cuticula Limitless because it is my favorite and I pretty much always use it. So you can see that this one is just utterly packed with the hollow flakes and they're very prismatic and rainbowy. I really like the combination of the purple and the hollow. It's very Halloween-y, like there's a certain shade of purple that to me screams Halloween and this is definitely that shade. Here I'm going to show this off in several different lighting situations so you can get a sense of how it looks. I did have a tiny bit of sun, but um, it was morning sun, so it was kind of funky. But anyway, 
This is a very rainbowy and pretty polish. It won't be difficult to remove because those are hollow flakes. They're not glitters. And there was no staining with this one. It's just a perfect purple. Day two, we have No More Uglicles Cuticle Balm in the scent Caramel Popcorn Balls. So mine was mislabeled as Slug Slurpee, but it is Caramel Popcorn Balls. Wow, easy for me to say. And it is described as a scrumptious blend of sweet caramel and salty buttered popcorn. And this one is a very sweet scent. It is so, so yummy. And I just wanted to show the application of the balm. So this has tons of really nice ingredients in there. It's got shea butter, apricot oil, cocoa butter, and then fragrance oil. It's also 100% organic and cruelty free. So this has a really nice texture. It's not too greasy. I find that it absorbs into the nail quite quickly and easily. You don't need a ton of it. This will probably last you forever. And once you rub it in, it definitely moisturizes your cuticles and makes them look very happy and healthy. I just did a closer, closer up look at my two fingers for anyone who cares to see them. Next up, we have Read the Broom for day three. That name is amazing and it's described as a large particle shimmer that has a glowing autumn color shift of gold to orange to yellow with a hint of green. I also super apologize if you can hear my neighbor's stone saw going. It's been like weeks of it and I'm about to knock on their door and say something because it's, it's brutal. But this polish is really beautiful. It actually reminds me of Rolling With My Chromies that just came out in the September the August PPU, I believe it was. It's just a super almost foily, very shifty, kind of rainbowy polish. And it is beautiful. So I really like the coverage I got in two coats with this one. You definitely will want top coat just to make it as shiny as possible. But in a second, you are going to see the gorgeous shifts you get in this one. It's simultaneously ethereal and intense. I just love the shifts in this polish. It is so beautiful and so interesting to me. The name is really cute. And to me, this is like a can't miss polish. This is worth the price of admission. It's worth the whole box. I really like this one. And I felt like walking around in as many different places as possible so you could see just how shifty this is. It's honestly so complex and beautiful. So I will let you enjoy the multitude of shifts in this one. Next up, we have the Zero Thirst Sugar Scrub in Cinnamon Broomsticks. So this one is a spicy blend of cinnamon, cardamom, and orange peel with notes of black tea and sweet vanilla. And this sugar scrub is beautiful. It has a really nice texture as I'm trying to show off for you. The sugar came very perfectly mixed. It didn't separate or anything. And... I really like using it after I file my nails or after I remove my nail polish to just get any extra acetone or dead skin flakes off of my hands and fingers. You really don't need much at all. So I took a very small amount, as you saw, add a tiny bit of water and then I just work it work it baby you just like work it into your hands to your fingers to your nail area don't be shy to just sort of rub it around and then it's such a pleasant experience because the scent is so beautiful it's just a really 
nice kind of time to rub it into your fingers and smell the scent. And then once you're done, just rinse it off and you will immediately feel a softness to your skin that is just so satisfying and nice. I really love a good sugar scrub and this one is excellent. Now we're back to a polish. We've got the first rule of Fright Club for day five, and this is a deep violet, full of green to purple, blue shifting micro flakes. Purple to blue shifting metallic flakes are also in there. And this is a really pretty jelly base to it. It also applies beautifully and easily and has a fantastic formula. This one is Halloween in a bottle. It's just the perfect mix of everything that makes me think of bats and cats and ghosts and witches. So I think that this one builds up really well in two coats. There's a ton going on. You might need three if you apply very thin coats, but this is a very generous formula. Even though it is a sheer base, it builds up really nicely and there is a ton of flake action in there so it builds up very quickly. This one does have a bit of texture when it dries down but it's not like a glitter so it won't be difficult to remove but it will require a good glossy top coat. Limitless by Cuticula does the job for me and it provides a very glossy, squishy, beautiful finish to the polish. And here you can see it. The flakes in here have a nice color shift to them. It's not an overly shifty polish because there's no shimmer in the base, but it's mostly color shifts you're getting from the flakes themselves. And then of course, everything looks different depending on the lighting you catch it in. So in direct lighting, it looks a bit lighter. And then out of direct lighting, it looks a bit deeper, but in every lighting, it looks very Halloween-y. Moving on to day six, this is No More Uglicles Cuticle Oil in the scent Crab Apples. This has a tart apple scent mixed with hints of cranberry and currants. So this one is just a really nice cuticle oil. I believe the main ingredients are jojoba and fractionated coconut oil. So jojoba oil is fantastic for nail strengthening and growth. So this is something that I try to remember to apply after I wash my hands because that's when you lose moisture from your nail bed. So you don't need much at all. This one has a delicious scent. It is very spice forward. It's got the apple scent to it, but mostly you're getting the spices, which I like because I don't always like the scent of apple. And I like to always make sure I rub in my cuticle oil really well. And if you don't like a greasy sensation, you can always dab it off in a towel or paper towel, but the main thing is to rub it in to get the benefits of the cuticle oil. Here we have day seven. We have Bark Side of the Moon, which is an army green crelly with a red to orange to green to yellow, shifting Aurora Shimmer. So this one is so fun. I think a lot of you are really going to like this one. It has a beautiful formula and it is just packed to the gills with shimmer. So this one has like a sheer base, but it 
honestly is totally opaque in two coats because there's so much shimmer it will distract from any visible nail line you might have and when you go in with the second coat it just kind of deepens the green base and also obviously intensifies that shimmer so you can see what I mean here I didn't experience any sort of staining with this one I would say to recommend I would say to recommend, no, I would just recommend a top coat to make this as glossy as possible, but it does dry down relatively glossy on its own. So here you can get a taste of the shimmer, but it is so much more than that. As you can see, you get varying shades of green and varying intensities of color and that shimmer which is like so many different colors red orange green and yellow it just creates so much depth to this polish it is beautiful it's very sparkly in the sun as well and if you love greens you're gonna want this one it is easily a top green in my collection now it's just so pretty and unique and I did feel the need to just walk through different spaces so you could see just how shifty it is depending on where you catch it I just am so entertained by these polishes I think they're awesome here we are with day eight the zero thirst beak bomb in the scent slug slurpee so this one is a beautiful lip balm. I am obsessed with it. It's got some beautiful ingredients. We've got aloe butter, avocado butter, jojoba oil again, which I love, argan oil. And then it's just such a good scent. So this one is described as a sweet raspberry slushy mixed with rock candy. And it honestly, I think it has flavored oil because it has like a sweet taste to it and I love a good flavored tasty lip balm so I'm gonna need like 10 of these they're so good and here I am being kind of creepy applying it but I already had a little bit of worn off lipstick and it just slides on the lips easily and beautifully and as you can see it just has a nice slip to it and I think that's very important when it comes to lip balms. You can also apply it with your finger if you prefer. And I can't say enough good things about this lip balm. I absolutely love it. I want every Bluebird beak balm ever. Now we are moving on to day nine with I Like Can't Even. This is a vibrant grape jelly with scattered sparkle with a scattered sparkle of pink and blue and a dash of scattered hollow. So this one is richly pigmented. As you can see on that first coat, it has excellent coverage. This one might stain your nails, so I recommend a good base coat to protect them. And I will recommend two coats, but honestly, it has fantastic coverage in just one coat. This one is also very rainbowy, as you can see from my brush when I'm applying it, you see the little scattered rainbowy bits. And this one will dry down with a little bit of texture, so I do recommend a very good glossy top coat to smooth everything out. I didn't find it difficult to remove because even if there is a bit of texture, I think it is very fine particle glitter and it's not difficult to remove but as i said there is the potential for this one to stain so definitely use a good base coat if you don't want purple nail beds so here it is with two coats and top coat it is such a rich shade of purple it has this really pretty glow to it and it does have additional like little sparkly pigments that catch the light beautifully and if you're a purple lover you won't be disappointed with this box because there's already three amazing purples in it that I approve of and I am a purple lover myself so 
when I'm excited about a purple, you know it's good because I love purples and I have a lot, so I need to be very discerning. Next up we have Just a Phase, and this one is a deep gray crelly with a magenta to gold shifting aurora shimmer. This one is day 10, if you can believe it. We're almost through the box. And this has a beautiful formula. It glides on like butter. Bluebird just makes fantastic shimmers. I mean, they make fantastic every formula, but these shimmers are really intense, which is what I love in a shimmer. And as you can see, this one gives really good coverage in that second coat. I don't think many people will need more than two, but you know, everybody's different, but this is on the creamier side, so it has a good opacity to it and it does dry down a tiny bit dull. So you will want a glossy top coat to maximize the shine. And this one is super shifty. So you get green and gold at the extreme angles. And you also almost get like a blue hit to it. Definitely the pink, definitely purple. This one is such an interesting color in my opinion. I really enjoyed wearing it. And I definitely enjoyed trying to show off the shimmer as best as possible because she's shifty. And here it is, just a little bit more for all of you who haven't been sold on how shifty and pretty this one is. It is something special, let me tell you. My love for this polish is not just a phase. And here we are with day 11 Zero Thirst Whipped Body Butter in Red Licorice Ropes. This one has a scent of delicious red licorice, fresh off vine, lol. So this is a beautiful body butter with a fantastic texture. It has jojoba oil in it, which is what I always want when I'm looking for a lotion type product, especially one I plan on using on my hands. And pro tip, if you get the full box, definitely use the sugar scrub and then after you're done with the sugar scrub apply this body butter to your hands and honestly my hands were so soft for hours even after washing them later in the night this is a fantastic product it created such a soft texture on my skin with the scrub and to quote my sister who also use the scrub and the lotion. She said she was obsessed with how soft her hands feel and I'm obsessed with how yummy it smells. It does have a really nice sort of like strawberry scent to it and hopefully you can tell how happy and moisturized my hands look. My cuticles are very happy. And last but not least we have Day 12, Dressed to the Canines, and this is an oxblood red with black reflective glitter and a sprinkle of red reflective glitter. Before I get to the end or talk about this polish, I do want to say that there will be a Day 13 surprise, which is even a surprise to me. I can't spoil it. It is a total surprise. So I don't know if I'm spoiling it by saying it's a nail polish, but... Oops, I did. So there's a special surprise for anyone who orders the box. And this polish is so yummy and delicious. I love how well it covers into coats. You can see just how ox bloody this looks. It literally has that jelly effect. So around the edge of your nail, it almost looks like blood stain, which I think is super cool. And it will be very textured, so I definitely recommend a glitter grabber and then a quick dry top coat to get the 
smoothest possible finish. But this one is really rich and juicy and interesting and sparkly. It has got levels of depth to it with those reflective glitters. And it is completely unique in my collection. Depending on what lighting you catch it in, it'll look lighter or darker, which is the fun benefit of a oxblood jelly polish. So you get more red tones in sunshine and then in darker spaces it just looks almost black. So this one has many different faces to it and you can see here with the camera flash the reflective glitter is very blingy but not overdone. So here in the sun you get that little bit of twinkle. It is fantastic. Personally, I think it's worth getting the entire box because I love the skincare and beauty products that were a part of this advent. If you do have scent sensitivities, then I might suggest skipping them because they are very fragranced, but if you like scents like I do, then it's just like an exciting party for your nose and your olfactory senses. My favorite polish in the box was Once in a Boo Moon. I loved the hollow in that one. I loved the purpleness of it. It felt kind of perfectly Halloween-y to me and I just really liked wearing it. And the other polish that I was just so excited about was the first rule of Fright Club. It's beautiful, just even looking at it again in the bottle is a treat for my eyes. I think that polish is so, so pretty. It's also perfectly Halloween-y. And in terms of the skincare products, I loved everything, really. Honestly, I did. The Cinnamon Broomstick Zero Thirst Sugar Scrub has such a beautiful texture and the scent is beyond delicious. I've been using the Red Licorice Ropes Zero Thirst Body Butter pretty much every day. It dries down really nicely. It's not greasy and it just has a beautiful texture and it's very, very hydrating for my skin. And the Beak Balm and Gloss is amazing. I think it has like the best lip balm formula. It's like my ideal lip balm formula. So I kind of want a whole bunch of these in as many different scents as possible. I tend to get very dry lips and also wear very bright lipstick, like the one I'm wearing. So I've been using the balm and it's like a perfect prep and primer for my lips. So they stay hydrated and when I apply lipstick, it's not gross and clumpy or dragging on my torn up lips. So I'd love to hear in the comments if you're planning on picking up this advent box. Let me know if you're planning on getting the polish only or going with the whole shebang. Let me know in the comments and uh, it's probably too early to wish you happy Halloween, but happy Halloween. It's coming. It's spooky season. I am totally here for it. Okay, that's officially it for me. Bye!